everybody! My name is Emily and I'm a Youth Services Librarian at Ridgedale Library in Hennepin County. I have been missing all of you, even those of you I have yet to meet. I've been missing the opportunity to meet you and I'm excited that we get to do a baby story time together today. So we're gonna do some bounces and rhymes, some songs, and read a book. That's gonna be really fun. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna introduce you to my baby for today, which is my big fluffy hamster. My big fluffy hamster does not have a name as of yet. So if you or any of your children have any name suggestions for this hamster, please feel free to put them in the comments and I'll look at them and see if anything feels just right and then we'll give an update if we need to. So first thing we're gonna do is sing This is the Way We Say Hello. This is gonna be the tune to the tune of here we go around the mulberry bush and we'll do a bunch of different actions starting with waving although you are welcome to do this at home with any number of actions not just the ones we're doing today okay so we're gonna start with waving this is the way we wave hello wave hello wave hello this is the way we wave hello 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 now let's do some clapping this is the way we clap hello, clap hello, clap hello. This is the way we clap hello, 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 hello. And let's get out our feet and do some tapping. This is the way we tap hello, tap hello, tap hello. This is the way we tap hello, 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 hello. And then we're going to do our last one, which is going to be a hug. This is the way we hug hello, hug hello, hug hello. This is the way we hug hello, 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 hello. Good job, everybody. Great job doing that. It's really good to say hello with you. So now we are going to go ahead and start reading our first book together. So when you see the book, it's going to be right on your screen because I read it using Libby, which is an application that you can access um, using your Hennepin County Library card, and it gives you access to ebooks and audiobooks, just digital items. But if you're at home and you've got some board books or physical books with you, please, please read them with your children. Um, for babies, that means when they're really young, they'll start to bat at those pages, and then as they get older, they'll start to turn those pages and really just give them the time to encourage them to play around with the physicality of the book. So even when they're learning to turn those pages, that's developing print awareness which is part of early literacy and Henry says hi too so let's go ahead and read that book together the book we're going to read today is called little owls one two three and it's by Divya Srinivasan which is an Indian name it's really great to read books that are written and illustrated by authors of all sorts and who have names similar and different to yours just like this one so we're going to do a lot of counting in this book, and we're going to see a lot of different animals. So get ready. Little Owl flies through the night forest, visiting his friends. One friendly fox says, good evening, little owl. What comes after one? That's right, two comes after one. There are one, two beavers that are building a dam. They wave hello. Can you wave hello? And three skunks nibble berries. Nibble, nibble, nibble. How many possums are here? Can we count them? We've got one, two, three, four. We've got four possums that search for snails. And how many snails are there in this picture? One, two, three, four. Great job. And five moths follow Little Owl. Little Owl surprises six animals. What kind of animals are these? That's right, they're turtles. And turtles have those hard shells they can hide inside of. And lots of those turtles are hiding. Seven frogs have a croaking contest. Can you croak like a frog? Croak, croak. And 
this is a good reminder to all the grown-ups watching that you can go ahead and pause this video, replay it, take out my voice and insert yours and do a lot of counting and looking at the pictures a little more closely. Let's turn the page. Eight bats take flight. Look at their silly little faces. And then hedgehog finds some mushrooms for dinner. How many mushrooms does hedgehog find? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. And there are two color mushrooms there. Can you see the mushrooms that are a little tan or orangish brown? How many of those are that color? One, two, three. Good job. Raccoon counts 10 fish in Grumbly Cave. Do you see what's next to those fish there? Looks like a paw. Night is ending. The stars grow faint. How many stars do you see? And I'm gonna let you count these on your own. Okay, do it together. If you didn't have enough time to count, you can always feel free to pause the video and start over, okay? Little Owl counts the stars and then falls asleep. And that is the end of Little Owl 1, 2, 3. Great job reading that book, everybody. So let's get together and do our next rhyme. So our next rhyme, oh, excuse me, Mr. Hamster, is going to be called Hurry Scurry Little Mouse. So what we're gonna do is make our fingers a little nice and do a little tickling and stuff. And we're gonna start at the toes, go to the knees, a tummy, and then end in a, in a kiss. We'll do it two times, okay? So we get the hang of it. So we're gonna go, Hurry, scurry, little mouse, starts down at your toes. Hurry, scurry, little mouse, past your knees it goes. Hurry, scurry, little mouse, past where your tummy is. Tickle, tickle. Hurry, scurry, little mouse, gives you a mousy kiss. Okay, so let's do that one more time. You're welcome to roam about, do all sorts of little body parts. You can change it up, so, but let's do it again. Hurry, scurry, little mouse, Starts down at your toes. Hurry, scary little mouse, past your knees it goes. Hurry, scary little mouse, past where your tummy is. Hurry, scary little mouse, gives you a mousy kiss. Good job, everybody. That's great. All right. So the next rhyme, song bounce we're going to do, <laughs> is called Little Red Wagon. This is a favorite for a lot of folks. So we're going to go ahead and get in our little red wagon. We're gonna do a little going along, then we're gonna lose a wheel. We're gonna fix that with a hammer. You can do this yourself. You can also encourage, especially as the kids get older, for them to kind of work on fixing with the hammer, get that little um, gross motor skills in. And then we're gonna go really, really fast, okay? So we are Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? One wheel is off and the axle is broken. One wheel is off and the axle is broken. One wheel is off and the axle is broken. Won't you be my darling? Gonna fix it with the hammer. Gonna fix it with the hammer. Gonna fix it with the hammer. Won't you be my darling? Okay, now that we're all fixed up, we're gonna go really, really fast. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? Good job, everybody. Good job. That was really fun. Okay, so we've got one last song, but I just want to remind everybody when you're at home to spend some time talking, singing, reading, writing, and playing together. And another thing you can do is speaking of singing together, is sing songs about 
everything. You can just like be cooking and be like, I'm frying up some eggs, I'm frying up some eggs, make up whatever you want. Um, and I just made that up and it feels really silly now, but like, yeah, it's silly, but your kids will love it and it's really great because it breaks down language into smaller bits. It really shows us those syllables. Um, and you're not thinking about it, your kids aren't actively thinking about it, but they're absorbing that knowledge. So we're gonna go ahead and sing our last song, which is If You're Happy and You Know It. And hopefully most of you know this one already, but we like to do this as a goodbye song sometimes. So we're gonna go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye, goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye, goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye, goodbye. Thanks for watching. Make sure to continue visiting the Hennepin County Library website, hclib.org, for online resources, ebooks, and audiobooks that we talked about earlier, as well as early literacy resources. Um, keep an eye on the Facebook page for more story times, and there's an early literacy resource that'll be linked in the comments called Learn As They Grow, which is really great as well. So thanks so much, and goodbye.